Okay, so welcome back to Rod Doing Stuff. Today we've got our razor. We're gonna look at putting this razor back off-road windshield on it. We haven't opened the box yet, we just got it, so we're gonna open this up and take a look at it. Okay guys, so I got the windshield installed. So it looks really good. There's a problem though. If you don't have the stock roof, the top mount doesn't work. Went back and read on their website, it does say that, but I didn't realize that beforehand. So I'm gonna have to make it work because I don't want to send it back. And I actually really like the windshield. So what I'm doing, you can see here, I'm gonna put this piece of metal here, up in the roof here, on the inside, so that this bracket can mount to it, right here. And then to seal it up here on the top, I'll put a piece of weather stripping between the metal that I'm installing and the roll cage. I'll put a piece of weather stripping in there. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out some little pieces to fill in these corners, weld those to this upper piece, and uh, I'll get back to you and show you how I done that. This is the one piece for the one side. Now I'll cut out the other one and we'll clean up the edges and weld it on. Guys, so you got these pieces cut out. I'm gonna tack weld them in there and then I'll pull that piece out and finish welding this blanket on here so I don't burn the windshield and the hole in the plastic. See, make sure you do Weld the other side, and then we'll take it off, weld it up, and uh, try and explain. 
smooth and put it back on. Okay, so we got the piece all built, all ground down, smoothed it off, it looks good. What I'm gonna do is these two bolt holes up here, and I'm guessing more for the factory visor, the windshield it's supposed to bolt to, but since we have an aftermarket roof, that doesn't work. I'm gonna, I marked those holes when the piece was up there. I'm gonna drill those out, and then we'll bolt them to those holes. So yeah, this is the finished piece. All finished up. The other side, it's all ground down. Why well, they couldn't build this there? And have it as an option that you can either purchase or that comes with the windshield, or you can order it with factory visor or without. I don't know, but if I can build it here, I can't imagine that they couldn't build it there and make it work. Okay, guys. So you can see get some light up here. Light's bad in this garage. I've got it all bolted up there. Drilled the holes in this side for the plate to mount to. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that off, paint it. And up under this lip here, I'm going to get some weather stripping to put along there before I build it back in permanent. Okay, so my final review of the razor back off road windshield on it. So we took it for a ride. Uh, the good is I like the windshield, I like the appearance of it. The wiper works good. Uh, there's really nice hinges on it. Um, everything works well. I like the way it latches up here. I like these latches down here. How they tie it down. Um, one thing about it, it didn't it doesn't, it's not made to go on a razor without the, with an aftermarket roof. So I had to build this plate, which I showed in the video. I knew that when I bought it, but still I think the manufacturer should offer an option with an aftermarket roof. If I can build this and make it work in my garage, they could certainly do it in their place. It's also got these vents at the bottom. The vents are alright. Um, when I opened them when I was riding, I didn't get a lot of airflow through it. I did get some. I'm going to need to ride a little more in different temperatures to figure out how those work fully. But anyway, overall I really like the product. It's nice. Um, and I don't have many complaints with it other than I think they should sell this plate up here as an option so you can do it with an aftermarket roof. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you next time.